drums. They're made from 55-gallon drums. They're made by a man named Tom Reynolds, who's currently located in Sanford, Florida. He's a native of St. Croix. He started. He came to the States and started making drums, I guess now it's been 15 years ago. If you have an interest in the instrument, he has a website. We'd be happy to give it to you. You can check in there and see about uh, getting your own drum. Uh, Sue's holding up what we call a lead pan. It's got about 28 notes in it. You can see them kind of pressed, pressed into it. Her drum is chrome like they used to do bumpers on cars back when they were made out of metal. <laughs> yeah. Don't try to chrome plastic. It'll melt, but this is metal. This is the top of a 55-gallon drum. Now, you notice it's concave. It's depressed by... Actually, he begins with... with in the United States, he drops a bowling ball in there. 43 times, I think he told me, to get the initial indentation. You don't want to heat it when you first start out. So you depress it by dropping a bowling ball on it. Then he has a pattern that he lays out that a, a musician would understand, like thirds and fifths, thirds and fifths, and things like that. He lays it out in there. And then he tunes it to concert pitch. He tunes it with a ball-peen hammer, either beating the note out or on the back end beating the note back in and yeah, like what he wants. Too. Wow. He a stroke tuner <laughs> and he winds up building whatever pan he's after which in case of the melody is coming from the lead pan primarily being played today by my wife Sue Messer and by a friend of ours and a counselor and a counselor training at our camp Amy Osborne they're doing most of the melody <laughs> Dickinson, he also played a little bit of melody on the We hope that Alicia down here is learning some lead. She's playing, I guess, chords today, but she's on a lead pan. Woo! That's it on lead players today. And so they can play a melody, but after a while it sounds kind of lonely. By the way, did this lady get a lollipop? <laughs> okay, because she's been trying hard all. <laughs> no, no, no. Nobody gave you one, huh? Okay, good. She's had enough. Leave her alone. Now, has anybody seen her do anything extraordinary today? Is that your husband? I've been married to her for 45 years. That's it. Give her a <laughs> There's 45 wonderful years. <laughs> so like any orchestra, you want to provide some rhythm and some harmony. So you want some lower sounds. The way you get a lower sound out of a pan is you put fewer notes in the top of it. The bigger the area that the note takes up, the lower the sound. So, you see some people playing on doubles. That gives them a similar number of notes, but they're bigger in area, so there's a little deeper sound. And let's see, playing on doubles today. Oh, Ms. Messer's standing in front of a set of chrome doubles, which she also plays on. And you can play lead on those doubles as well. Give us an F scale, please. Oh, I don't know the F scale, but I need a C scale. G scale. That's my favorite. Woo! Okay. Yay! Now, so supporting that and providing some rhythm, we have a couple of now you got your on doubles today. Now you can go to Jacob the Sim, who's a counselor training with us, is playing with us. One of our favorite adult volunteers, Miss Candy Ahart, is right here playing with us. All right, step to the back row there. You got in the back row. <laughs> Okay, on the back row, we've got really the prettiest sounding instruments in the band, which are our triple guitars. And Brooke Stevens is playing on a triple over there. And Tammy Ray. Yeah. Yeah. For training with us, and Tammy is an adult volunteer, even though she looks about 16. <laughs> <laughs> She's been around a 
lot longer than that for the 31 legs. <laughs> she received from this group. Then she came back and worked in our office and now she works as a missionary with our organization part-time and does some office management work in Emmerich. Thank you, Tammy, for your dedication. If you want to talk to somebody about what this group has meant in people's lives and what the scholarships have meant in people's lives, talk with her. They talked with Jacob for that matter. He doesn't have much to say, but he can tell you about his sister who also had a good run with us until she grew up, finished college, and got a job. <laughs> All right, so now I want you to hear the different voices in the band come together. So we're going to play a traditional island tune called Jamaica Farewell. We're going to start with the melody. We're going to add in the other instruments so you can hear how they come together. Ready? So,
Yeah, I was going to say the same thing.